in this video I want to try and help you feel a bit soothed so you don't always think people on YouTube and Facebook are having a happier life than you or anybody is like better than you or more intelligent than you on a deep level and I'm not talking about academic intelligence there's lots of other forms of intelligence and intuition and knowing okay so I want you to feel more confident in your ability and that you're not alone in your suffering or problems in life we all have our problems in life, our, our challenges, our learning points and our blind spots or blockages. So, our arguments and problems, like arguments and conflict and relationships usually happen because there's a blind spot in communication or understanding or learning, okay? There's maybe what some people call the ego involved, where you're either arrogant, thinking you know better or more than others, or know everything, or that you're always right. But really, when that closes you, when you're competitive and close to learning, you're unreceptive, and then you're going to have prob like relationship problems, okay? So, that's only one aspect of life, but there's also lots of other things about career, money, loss, health, your family, illness, sickness, um, di like maybe disability, limitation, um, and, of, and of course, the huge factor of maybe security or insecurity regarding home, where you're living, your job or your health or relationships too. So one of the things that I've been experiencing a lot in life lately is two things. One is not knowing, so you can't know the future and the future can never be predicted accurately and certainly. We can all make a guess and psychics can make a guess, channels can make a guess, but it's all open to what now and the, the energy is always changing now. So anytime you make a prediction, the energy is already changed. Like, I, I was speaking with a channel today, who I admire and respect deeply, a dronus from Syria, Brad Johnson. His channel is excellent. You can see it on my YouTube wall, possibly. But anyway, he just said the exact same thing. Like, and so much of what he said was resonating. That you make the future now, and you can't never... Sometimes when we... So life happens not from someone's prediction. It happens from your daily choices and decisions. Okay, your daily choices and decisions about everything. Okay, so you can't blame anyone on your life. How you respond is is up to you. Either the more unconscious or, or the more conscious is up to you. The more in your heart or not in your heart is up to you. So no matter what the obstacle, blockage, limitation issue is, you have the power, okay, to manifest your creator. So that's what I want to say. So so never play the victim, okay? And just know you're a creator. And make, like even with your health, like everything, they just make lots of like positive little decisions that are good for you. And same with your relationships. Try and like have an abundance of more positive and decisions and choices on how to manifest the relationship and life, career, work, and general relationships and life that you want. So that's all I really want to say. And to get really happy and comfortable with not knowing, like. Life is not meant to be known. Life is, it would be no fun and boring if you knew the future. If everyone told you what's gonna to happen to you, yeah, you'll die when you're 50, or your relationship will last through five years, or you're gonna do this. Like, it'd be so crap and boring. It'd be not a, not a creative experience anymore. It'd be just be like living out the life that's been written for you. So it's not that. That's not fun. So just become more comfortable with, comfortable with not knowing. Like, you don't know what's gonna happen next. You don't know how long anything's gonna last more or less, like you don't know for sure. So just try and enjoy life more and three nice principles to enjoy and have a positive life is like work, play and fun and enjoyment and rest. So if you mix those three areas and try and enjoy and as things as much as possible, enjoy your sleep, enjoy your rest, enjoy your work, enjoy your creativity, 
enjoy your passions, enjoy the people, enjoy your walks, enjoy your health, enjoy everything. If you try and enjoy and play and have fun things more, including your work, and then you rest and, and enjoy that, life will be just more like holistic and whole and fulfilling. So anyway, I, that's all I'm really saying in this video. So, to end the video, I was going to say, don't worry about your problems and challenges. Everybody has them, even the people who you think have it made. Don't compare your worst behind the scenes moments, okay? With other people's like highlights and flashes and pictures and YouTube videos and Facebook or social media photographs where they're all happy. Know that they might have, their mother could have cancer, or they could have like been abused or being abused. You never know what's happening. So. Just be content with your life more and enjoy it more and work at it a little bit more and um, go easy on yourself. So just be chill, be relaxed, but don't be too complacent, but just go easy on yourself and other people and try and live from your heart more. And then life will become easier and more better or better or more enjoyable, etc. And don't try and expect and get attached to your expectations either. And just try and always be learning and open to learning and receptive to improving. That's all you can do, and that's the journey of life, like in a, in a in a nutshell, almost. You never know. Every day is important because this your every day will never repeat again. So just try and savor and enjoy the people in your life without attachment, without getting too serious to your attachments and desires or hopes, your wishes. Have wishes and try and manifest them, but don't get really stuck and like desperate, like a drug to your wishes. And be be flexible to change and other people's wishes and we all have like rhythms and um, cycles in our in our life our mood or energy our body in nature is purely cyclical and rhythmically like sit seasonal so therefore know this and don't get too attached to what's coming and going and passing and changing and then it'll be more fun too so then you just learn to enjoy what's, what the new situation is more. So that's all I want to say. Always learn from nature and animals and other people. Yeah. And thanks to Zumi for making this video with me. And bigger in the background, the river and nature. Thanks to my body and all of our bodies for listening and watching this video. Thanks for all the love and time we have from our family and the people in our lives and thanks for life itself and if you want any work or coaching with me and health body mind spirit relationships anything whatsoever herbs healing body mind spirit i'd love to work with people it's my pleasure and joy and passion and have a look in my links below and hire self herbs and also owen fox Org. and friend me on Facebook as you wish and say hello as you wish I'm happy to hear from you okay thanks everyone have a lovely day